The K-Ducer is a Class A transducerized assembly system. The system consists of an advanced state-of-the-art controller and a range of handheld and fixtured electric screwdrivers. The KDU-1 and KDU-1A controllers feature a touchscreen display. In this video, we are going to look at setting the torque and angle control features for an application. To enter the setup menu, you press the menu button found in the top right corner of the screen. Once in the menu settings, you will see we have sequence settings, USB settings, general controller settings, and program settings. All torque, angle, and other process controls will be found under programs. To enter this menu, you press the programs icon. On this screen, you will notice PR1 for program 1 is listed at the top of the screen. You can use the right and left buttons to index through the programs. Each controller has 64 programs. In this video, we will look at setting the torque for program 1. Now we see that the target now is listed as 10, but if we for this application needed 20 inch pounds, we just touch the target box on the screen and it prompts us to enter the new target here. Once we have the value entered, you press OK. You can see now our target is 20. We can also set a minimum and maximum judgment feature. For this application, we will say we want no more than 22 inch pounds, but we must achieve at least 18 inch pounds. If the torque falls between the minimum and maximum constraints, the controller will return an OK signal. If it is above or below, it will return a not OK. Additionally, we have a downshift and RPM option available. The slower the final torque is applied, the more repeatable that final torque will be. So here we will turn the downshift on and we'll say we'll start the driver out at 320 RPMs. But once the driver reads 10 inch pounds, we will slow it down to 50 RPM to ensure the final torque is applied smoothly. If you have angle specifications for the application, they can be entered here as a judgment or also as angle control only, which would run to an angle and then judge the torque afterward. Here, we will run the driver to a torque and you have the option to judge the angle after. Once you have all of your settings in, you press the OK button in the top right and it will prompt you to save the changes. Here we will say yes. We will then use the back button to go back to the main menu and the back button to go back to the home screen. Now you can see that it has our target listed at 20 inch pounds and we had no target set. You can also set a screw count. Here we have only one, but it will count the screw as well. And there's also a ready indication on the screen. So you can see that when we run the driver, it will return the maximum torque applied. All the torques have fallen within the window. So you can see that you have a green indication is the screw was okay. Additionally, each rundown, you can capture the graph of that rundown, both torque over time as well is torque over angle.